Hey guys, Boomslang here. Um, I just want to bring you a quick guide on uh, fishing, how to get a fishing rod, um, where you can go, what you can do, um, and maybe just at the end put in a little bit about my farm, what I'm growing, the animals that I keep, and how I attempt to turn a profit. Not it doesn't always work, but I'm trying. Um, so basically, I'm on my island. But obviously you can fish in any body of water as far as I've seen. Um, I've gotten up to tier 4, so I use the fisherman cap, fisherman garb, work boots, backpack. You don't have to have your fishing rod equipped, you'll still get the icon. I just, for this video, I have it equipped. And you can also use um, fishing bait, and I'll go into how you can get this as well. And that gives you increased bite speed of fish by 50%. So it all adds up. Um, it's not essential, you can fish without any of this apart from obviously having the rod. I overcast there. So what I'm doing is, I'm clicking and I'm letting the bar go up a certain amount until I get to that stage. And then I click, release, click, release, click. It's almost like a mini game where you're just trying to get the fish to the end. And there you go. Fish has been caught. You can actually um, eat that and it will increase your health regen by 30 minutes. Um, but fish you can do a lot with. You can put them in the foods, um, food section because that was the potion section that we had the bait in. Um, and you can also use it in cooking, butchery. There's uh, potions. There's loads of different things. So just once more, I've clicked cast it's come in now I'm just gonna keep clicking and releasing clicking releasing until I get to the end and in this instance we have found a candelabra um, you can find placeable objects for your house which we will go and take a look at now pretty sure I can only place it and oh, no, I can place it anywhere so Candelabra is going up. Just found it fishing. There you go. Obviously, I'll probably put it somewhere a bit better place than that. But anyway. Um, so we come here to the butcher. Chopped fish. Uh, that's because I've got it in my inventory. Where is it? There. And then you get your chopped fish. Now, I don't think there's any recipes that only use chopped fish. But normally it's basic fish sauce with seaweed. Seaweed you also get from fishing. And the fish sauces can be used in potion making. Fancy fish sauce. Um, I'm pretty sure there's some further down. Not that I'm aware of. So, you can use fish in your cooking. And that all adds up towards the end. So, where do we find a fishing rod? How do we get a fishing rod? Um, generally, I've just ended up buying my own fishing rods because I'm kind of lazy like that. <laughs> but you are able to make the fishing rod um, at a tool maker, which I'll go to the map in a minute and show you. But the base starting rod is tier 3, chestnut planks, neat cloth, and need to go to, is this not resetting? More than likely for most people would be either Mountain Cross, Fort Sterling, Limhurst, or Forest Cross. Because inside here, you would have the journeyman toolmaker, and you can make your first tier of fishing rod there. I do think that tier 3 is the first, I could be very wrong at which point I would update my um, video in the comments, or put out a second video, but I have always had tier 3, and then I got tier 4. And I, I bought this because I'm lazy with tool making. So I got all of this on the auction house. Um, 
so yeah that's that's where you would get your fishing rod from in the first instance and uh, start fishing from there but any tool maker will be able to craft you the uh, fishing rod and I will now show you what I'm farming and explain why I'm farming it so I'm farming carrots um, reason being is I've just literally gone into carrot farming completely I just want to max level it personally so it's at 18 for carrot farmer and then it increases my specialization bonus efficiency while growing so I get a better return um, nearly up to corn seeds but I haven't grown anything but carrots personally uh, over here I did have the where's it gone the pasture which is a nine slot animal um, building and that you would have like chickens cows pigs those sorts of animals and I was just growing chickens here nine of them and then I would use um, carrots to feed them instead of having to buy feed because you would drag and drop food into there they don't like fish weird it's a cat um, but you drag the food into there and that this side shows you how long the food will last and this side here shows you how long until they're fully grown and if you nurture them the projected offspring yield increases so with growing animals you can potentially get a chick from a chicken when it's growing into an adult so it can potentially produce an offspring and then you can replace remove the chicken for either chicken meat and cooking or to sell it on the auction house or you can um, replace the chicken um, w with the chick that you've you've grown um, so you you end up not having to really purchase chicks again from um, the guy over here or from the auction house if it's a bit cheaper because obviously you can buy the chick from here so these are all the um, animals you can place and this is how you um, produce meat and mounts so obviously these will turn into mounts if somebody purchases them from me so because I don't use carrots here anymore I take all my carrots over to my sous chef and I get my sous chef to make it into soup and I basically put the soup back onto him um, that's the soup, 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 carrot soup so I'm, no that's wheat soup Carrot soup stand here. So I just make all the soups that I can from the amount of carrots that I get. And on here you've got crafting capacity. Uh, oh, sorry, it displays all three. Crafting capacity, durability, and the food supply. So without food, if that goes down to zero, he will not allow you access to make any soups, sandwiches, anything. So I didn't know this for quite a while, I had to work it out and keep clicking around until I did it. Um, anything you make you can also study it if it's um, the same tier that your max tier is, so my max tier is 5. So I can study any of these and it helps get me more points um, to go to the next level. But if you click on here, you can give up ownership, give access rights. Um, do the administration of it, do repairs, downgrade it, demolish it, upgrade it, so upgrade it to tier 6 so that you can create tier 6 um, recipes, food, etc. Here is the food supply, so if this was soup, I would drag it into here, and normally he would be happy, and it would go up to, say, 8%. You need to to make 100%, I would predict that you probably need to go for his favourite food, which is goose pie. So each each of the NPCs has a favourite food. Always try and identify that, and if you're making it, chuck it in. But I think you'd probably need like three, maybe 5,000 um, soups to even come close to getting it up to 100%. But you don't need to. I just every 22 hours after I've made uh, soup, so I just chuck it in here and it keeps running. Um, I've never had them go down. I mean, this lady, she's on 6% and I haven't had her go down um, 
for zero ever. She likes cabbage soup, so you can eventually grow cabbages as well. They're a tier five vegetable. Um, that's kind of it, really. Uh, there's nothing. The only other things that you can say about fishing when you're out in the open world. There's going to be specific named, well not named pools, but specific little fish pools that give you, you know, different different levels of fish. So the higher zone you're in, the better the fish is. But you can actually see um, like a, a ghostly looking treasure chest. And if you land on it, like there isn't one here obviously, I'm just demonstrating. But if you were to land exactly, oh God, roughly there, I'm not going to try it again. And you wait until the bauble shakes, then you would reel it in and get whatever's in the treasure chest. I have yet to get one, so I'm not sure what's in there, but I'm sure it's something nice. Um, but as you can see, you can fish anywhere. You don't need these specific pools. And you can get fish, you can get seaweed, you can get the all the placeable objects for your house, for outside, loads of different things. Fishing is definitely worth doing. Um, and it can be very good to mix it in with um, your crafters on, on your island if you've built them up. So, yep. Uh, keep doing the island, keep fishing. It's all worthwhile doing. And remember that near enough every gathering profession, as far as I'm aware, has a set similar to this. And it all stacks up so that when you gather a fish, there's a chance that this bonus will kick in and you'll get maybe an extra fish so it all adds up anyway guys i hope this has been helpful um, if you have any questions or i didn't explain myself well enough please just let me know get, drop me a comment um, add me in game boomslang gaming if anybody wants to be a part of a good helpful guild you know you can whisper sahib me um, quite a few members we've got a discord it's always in the description uh, come and join Wolfstack. Um, yeah, that's it, guys. Have a good one. Boom Slang out.